Greetings and welcome to the Monday Club, the world famous watercolour platform here in the lovely marsh. Hope you're all well and can see the light at the end of the tunnel. When we emerge we might be looking at drought. Floods, pestilence and drought. Oh, it's biblical. What a year. Still, I'm sure our painting has come on a treat. This is week 11 and today we're looking at birds, or a bird, and masking technique. This is a grey heron. My grandson photographed one in uh, Greenhead Park the other day. Nice picture. He's it, the, the bird is quite alert it got too close and I think it would have liked to have pecked his eyes out anyway so I did a painting this is for him it turned out okay so we're going to paint this and I've made a start with the pencil drawing I've got a new thing to hold my camera. It's not a plank of wood. It's a bit twangy though. Know. Right. Now, as with any watercolour, we're going to think it through. Um, first thing is, um, do a good pencil drawing. Practice, get it right. This is something that's got to look like something, it's got to look like a bird, it's got to look like a heron. It must look like a dead snake. So, practice, you, you may find subject matter in a book or online. It's quite a distinctive shape. The, the head is often at uh, different heights. It always seems to be the same attitude, it stretches, it looks and it retreats right back when it's resting. Um, so the anatomy is right, this should be right, uh, the shape should be spot on. Get it right, practice, do a good drawing. Um, position it a little bit to one side because we've got some uh, leaves here, some reeds or something. So it must have balance. Um, lower than centre on, on the page because here we've got the uh, the lake. I know I've, I've receded the lake quite a lot to make it look massive but never mind it's part of the picture. So we'll come back to that. Um, so I'm going to paint this, first of all, with uh, masking fluid. Just need shaking 20 times a day. And an old brush. Make sure it's an old brush because this stuff is wicked on your brush. So I'm going to paint that on. I'll just explain what it is first of all. It creates um, a a rubber or a plastic coating over the subject so that when you paint through with your big brush it won't go on the bird. You can paint with abandon. I'm, I'm not a fan of masking fluid um, but for something like this it's pretty good. I know people use it for virtually everything um, it's never better than not using it except when you want to paint with abandon. Paint through, you don't have to worry about painting up to things, cutting in and out. So, I'll do that first and then we'll let it dry. So, I'll do it as quickly as you can. Just 
to go over all the pencil lines. Not the outline though, right up to the outline. You can paint everything else in one piece. And it's got a slight tint to it so you can see where you've painted. Make sure you haven't missed any. That seems okay. Right. Clean the brush. Stick it in the water. Okay. So I'll, I'll leave that a few minutes and I'll come back. Okay. I'm dry now. So I'm going to wet this now, and rather than brush away, I'm just going to stick it in the sink for uh, about 20 seconds. Hold on. Right, so I've wetted this thoroughly. The reason I wet it uh, in the sink, I would have it to brush it on both sides, because I want it wet on both sides, so it doesn't, it doesn't curl up too, too badly. So it's quicker just to dunk it. Uh, so it's good and wet. Now I can paint the background with abandon. So just bring my palette into view. So the French ultramarine and burnt umber, a strong mix and I'm just going right through so these are trees that are reflecting in the background so the green right to green I've added some yellow now I've got it in my mind's eye to keep it not too dark in the middle where the bird is Uh, darker at the edges. So this is sepia. And slowly build up the intensity. Pain's great. I'm 
Going blue. I quite like the look of this. It will dry very much lighter. So I'm happy for it to be quite dark. yellow bit more ultramarine Okay, I'm going to let that dry and see how it is. Five minutes. Okay, let's try it a bit. It's uh, still damp though. That looks okay. So, I have it in my mind's eye that the vertical brush strokes are uh, reflection. Horizontals will be. No, I'm sorry. The, um, the Vertical brush strokes are reflections of the trees in the background and the horizontal ones will be uh, ripples or di disruptions in the surface. So these will be small in the background getting bigger and more pronounced as we come forwards. We'll try a dry bush, see what that does. That's a bit hit and miss because it's not it's drying unevenly. That's okay. Quite like that. So no ripples. Now, as always. Don't overdo it. Referring back to the photo for ideas. Glad it hadn't flown away, I'd have been stuck then. Dry brush. Not very effective because it's pretty dry now. So smaller 
more intense ripples. Some of them quite dark. Decided it's drying too pale, so I'm going to go back over the, um, the verticals. Gonna turn off back in a mall. Right, I keep turning you off because the camera will overheat. It's done this already to me, but to start again. That's annoying. So back as the forwards. The verticals give you the background, the horizontals more detail. So you can keep on doing this till you're happy. Off again. big circular ripple here and there look it's ducks diving don't want to do this overdo it rather um, and I do want more detail in the foreground and there is at the back. Various colours, green and blue based. I can always go over it here and there when it's dry later on. So what I'm going to do now, turn off, let this dry thoroughly. This might take 10 minutes off, so get the hairdryer out. Because we've only got 5 minutes left. No, 10 minutes. Okay, that's uh, dry or nearly dry. So I can pull this off now. Magic, isn't it? Mm. Now, I'm rushing it. And it smudged the white and the paper. Never mind. Okay, um, slightly odd shape. 
I'll have to touch that up. Right. So now the bird I'm just gonna wet it over gently. Going with some blue here and there. So the sun is coming from above. It's catching the sun on the shoulders, in front of the neck. Bit of shade in the chest. to raw sienna on the chest also okay the tail is fairly dark bit of shade under here Smaller brush. Raw sien on the beak. So I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to touch up the, the shape of the beak. It's wrong, but I'll make it right. Put the eye in, so I need to know exactly where it is. Okay, where's the eye? It's looking a lot like a goose at the moment, so. I'll have to work some magic on this. Right. There's a dark flash to the eye. Turns into a long crest. Shoulder. It's got dark markings. Gonna go off for a minute and tidy this up. Okay, it's looking a bit better. To give him a nice eye. There's a bit of frown, a bit of a frown over his eye.
and that actually carries on towards the beak. In that fashion. Oh. Shading under the beak, under the head. Sorry for muttering. I feel a bit under pressure here because I know I've got a 30 minute limit and we're up to 25 already. Not to worry, we're getting there. These are all details I'm just checking on the uh, original. This paper's still wet, it keeps stuck at my yeah, look. Oh, these are little details, which shouldn't matter so much. Taking some of that off. Okay. I'm going to do some rocky outcrop here that is stood on and the leaves. So I'll get ready for that. I'll turn you off for a second. Right, this is gouache corner. Bit of gouache. Keep it. Keep it fluid. Quite nice actually this gouache. It's a dense paint, it doesn't have the same properties as watercolour. So it always looks a trifle dull I think. But, um, times like this, I love it. Right, turning you off again. Herons have massive feet, which I'm not going to attempt to paint because that will ruin it. Because they are horrendous plates of meat, they really are. Size 14. Okay. Okay, the leaves now, I'm getting gouache. So this will dry very much paler. It's slightly darker.
Right, not much time left now, I'm afraid. So, I'm just going to finish off. I'm generally messing around and wishing you well for the week. Hope you enjoyed this. Got a bit frantic at times. That's not so bad. Not so bad. This was a better one, but that was done more in my leisure time than this one. I could work a little bit more of this, I think. I would like to smooth this background down a bit. Probably uh, enhance some colours like this. Bird, the bird looks a bit dingy. I might. Uh, little, little tickle here and there. It looks like a heron. Well, sort of. So, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, Masking fluid technique, at least you got the principles. And the fact that you could flush water on both sides and it's not curled up so badly. Keep it loose, keep it separate. You can always stretch it, of course, but that's a rigmarole. Um, can't be objective anymore. I think it's okay. What do you think? Let me know. Um, that's better, you can see that better. <laughs>